Michael Year. Hello, dear listeners. It's your Michael from the Green Bring you a new podcast from my seventh called The Secret of Time. You, and like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case, in case you don't understand me. Also, I was doing my best not to breach your heart during this RU podcast recording as well, not to cost any RU feedback as well. And finally, and finally, it's your, <laughs> it's your under 18, this RU podcast recording will change to our adult language. Once again, it's your under 18, this RU podcast recording will change, will change to our adult language. Now, 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 if you're over 18, that means you're going to watch, to watch this RU podcast recording. This RU podcast recording. So anyway, with this, everything else out of the way, uh, before we get into this episode, this episode basically is a, basically it's a crossover of, um, it's just basically a, a, you know, this episode basically is just a random crossover with some Kamen Rider Saber characters, you know, so just let you know, this is sort of like a crossover episode for, you know, kind of, kind of is, is a crossover episode of, of Kamen Rider Saber and, you know, and Jim Kaiser. So anyway, so basically, so basically after, you know, from, Zox, aka two cards, went to went to uh, follow a uh, follow uh, you know, a, you know, follow a chosen uh, a chosen gear monster to to the to to the to the to the parallel world where Comrade Saber and his where Comrade Saber lives. So basically, he stopped he tried, he stopped the monster. Basically, got in shenanigans with Comrade Saber in the game. So basically, in his you know and his con. So basically, after you know, you know, after you know, Zox took care of the monster, working together with you know, what what Kamai say that and his friends, you know, he he was leaving. So basically, two of the two of the the brother and sister Kamai uh, riders, you know, reached out and. Uh, uh, and Rigo, who uh, Rigo is Comrade Dredge, uh, Dredge and Rico is Comrade Com- Shade Green. We, uh, so basically, so basically, you know, uh, so uh, Rigo was like, you know, was making for that Zox, you know, what that Zox, uh, that Zox would go back to wherever he came from. But, but, you know, since, you know, since Zox is a pirate, you know, he still not stolen, he ended up stolen, you know, uh, Rigo to wonder why books that in that transform in, into Conway Dredgent. Uh, Dredgent. So basically, you know, when we uh, uh, when Doc tried to make his getaway, you know, we go and we got grab all got hold of Doc and they got teleported and they got uh, so basically they flew back to the back to the dimension where Kyra and the Gentiles are. So basically, Doc's spaceship can travel between dimensions and shit. So anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, then we start us with then we start us at the Zentai if we just celebrated a holiday, a Japanese holiday. So basically, this holiday revolves about you. You are a piece of you actually you you like your wish on your. I got the name of the holiday, which is called. I'm not even gonna try to remember this. <laughs> This holiday name. So basically, the holiday is it goes like this. So basically, you get a piece of paper that looks like a strip of ribbon. Then you then you write your wish on that paper. Then you place it on a tree. You can place it on a wall or tree or something like that, and and and, and hoping that your wish will come true. So basically, that thing was was kind of bummed that the holiday was over, but as she wished. She was to celebrate again for a second time, but you know, but you know, Kylie Grandma said that you know, certain holidays like this, it, it's only celebrated once a year. So basically, Madison was kind of bummed out. So basically, Kylo, you know, Kylo being like a, uh, being like a, being like a suck, uh, like you know, being like an older, uh, like being like an older, uh, like being like an older daughter, like decide to, decide to, you know what, let's. Let's do this hard thing. Let's let's celebrate this hard thing over again. So basically, Maggie was happy, and then out of out of nowhere, she suddenly disappeared into thin air. 
So anyway, meanwhile, we go, so basically, you know, we go, cause Zach and, and we got showed up, showed up, you know, back in, back in, you know, back in Kaido, uh, back, uh, uh, back in Kaido's dimension, where, uh, where, where he and the other Zenkai are, uh, are, are right now. So basically, you know, we go was not happy that, uh, that Zach stole his Wonder Wise book, so basically he was like, you know, uh, like, you know, he wanted it back, but Zox is saying, like, no, I'm a pirate, so basically, you know, I'm here, uh, I stole your treasure, this is mine, so basically, you know, so basically, you know, we go, uh, we go, instead of being started to attack, uh, we start to, to, start to attack Zox, and then out of nowhere, the monster that he thought he defeated in, and Tom Rider Savers Dimension came for came for came flying came flying at came came to a flying came flying out of nowhere and crashed landing between him between Zox and Rika and Rigo. So basically, the monster I called the the Wish Patterson the Wish Patterson monster. You know, you put paper, you put these little Wish paper these paper. They're called Chris Tasnicks, you know. So they the Tasnicks Market was pissed, and he recognized he recognized he he saw Zox and killed two guys who who sent him flying back to back to this dimension. So basically, you know. And so basically the monster, so basically the monster, and also here, the monster started to attack Zox aka okay, two cards because, you know, he's the reason why he's back in this dimension in the first place. So anyway, turns out, uh, turns out that, turns out that, uh, turns out that, uh, turns out back at the, why the, the, the that was going on, turns out at the, back at the chosen, uh, dynasty empire, uh, and back at the chosen dynasty, you know, palace, you know, King Booker was pissed that, to, that uh, that two cards didn't interfere uh, with, in, in interfere with this monster taking over uh, taking over Kamen Rider Saber world. So uh, take over the world that where Kamen Rider Saber and and the rest of his and rest of his comrades lived at. So basically, he said that you know he was he was the talented monster to kidnap the one to use the power to kidnap. Uh, to kick that two cards your sister that way that way he can get that way he can get rid of him. So anyway so Biggie after all the tags hit monster, you know so Biggie you know he was back for a few minutes, he's on a mission to catch your two tires using his tasmic powers to try to try to catch your two tires your sister. So anyway in the fight in the fight in the fight, in the fight you know in, in the fight we got uh, uh, the tags hit monster you should start to tell it, to make, to make, you know, to make, you know, to make Rika disappear, you know, um, we go we go sister disappeared they to the monster's power. So basically it was the Tasset monster that made Magin disappear. So basically the Tasset monster doesn't know but there's one check to it with Tasset monsters, you know, how he doesn't know where he doesn't know what to, what two kaiser's sister looks like. Only thing he's going off the description that, you know uh, the, he's going off the description that you know and, and, and that that's the best I can get him that, you know, he, he going out the description that, you know, two sides sister is a girl with, you know, it's a girl, it's a girl with, it's a girl with, with a ponytail. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a female, a female, a female, a female girl woman with a ponytail. So basically he just, he just zapping any girl with a ponytail inside, including, including Kyroids as well. So basically, you know, so basically he was zapping him to Kyroids because, you know, because, you know, he had a big, big description of what two kinds of sisters like that. So basically we were like pissed off. That his sister disappeared, and he bring he bring Zox for you know for for his sister Rika for for disappearing, and so basically you know Cairo shut up blah blah blah, along with uh, along with you. Along with Zuan, and they got into fight. You know, they tried to fight the monster, but instead, you know, we go, we go, which pissed off at Zox, so blah, blah, blah. So basically, that led to the monster getting away, and, 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 and. And, and and we just said like you you got the empire. You're the you're the reason that why my sister 
So basically, my sister got uh, uh, is missing. Telling me, uh, telling out uh, the bad guy uh, holding all the the box, uh, the, uh, the the lucky uh, the lucky talisman monster was holding all the girls that he uh, that he captured at some at some weird location somewhere. So basically, we we uh, we got met up with Magin there, you know, met up with Magin there. So Magin was there and whatnot. So basically, you know, Professor I think went to go see you see them uh, see you see the crowd of girls and see that you know that is that the monster the, the monster cast their desox Zox's his sister Flint. So basically, Professor I didn't see Flint any anywhere in the crowd, but he definitely saw Magine, and he ordered he ordered Professor Filter that you chain her up that way. Back. That way he won't use that way he won't morph or use her powers. But the, but for some reason she the the uh, the footage even forgot to got to you know even t take her morpher <laughs> for some stupid reason. So anyway, you so saw basically we got you know we got her but before she got that way you know she she met Tyler and others and Tyler and whatnot. So basically like you know we could talk about you like you know I have a way to get out of here. So basically. He we got can still try to it into a comrade of all things say boom. <laughs> comrade say boom. So this is like you know when the time is right, you know you know, we uh, me and then he got bust out of here and you know, along with these people. So anyway, so basically you go you go and Josh would explain what the hell happened uh, back at Carter's grandma's shop. So basically like you know so basically like you know so basically Carter was like you know was begging you know, was begging was be was begging Jock to get back his uh, uh, his brother. Uh, get back I mean get back his brother right book that way he could transform into his common writer form uh Jagger to go uh, go help find his sister. So basically, you know, doctors act like a real pirate jerk. He's like, no, the pirate, the, the, the one the white book is mine. So basically, touch Teddy, touch Teddy, I don't care about you, Mrs. Sister. So basically, that's what kind of figure out the reason why. And the reason why why these girls, why Rika and Maggie disappeared because they had ponytails. So ponytails. So basically, they figured that if the monsters, uh, they kind of figure out, or figure out the monster is fine. They figure that you know, if this monster is kidnapping good ponytails, that means Flint could be in danger. So basically, uh, so basically, Rocks was kind of worried about you know that Flint could be disappeared too by the uh, by the uh, um, by the lucky talisman monster's power. So basically, so basically he played it off, you know, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's kind of, let's kind of, Let's call his grandma's car, you know, let's call his, you know, call his grandma's shop, and, you know, still, you know, shop, let's call his, I mean, let's call his grandma's, you know, little candy store, and went back to the ship to see that Fred was okay. Fred was okay, she didn't disappear, you know, and she made three new, new gears based off the, uh, based off the, uh, based off the, uh, based off the, based off the zero one, Zeno and Zeno, uh, basically the uh, the last, the uh, the last rider of the uh, of the second generation era of car rider, Zeno and and Sailor. So basically, he 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 made two, he made two, he made uh, so basically Frank made two uh, three Gentile kids based on the Zeno, Zeno, uh, zero one and and and. and Saber. So anyway, so basically after 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 worrying that his sister might be who might be it was a freaking that his sister might be might be, might might disappear, Fox realized he he's been a real dick. He realized that, you know, if anything were to happen to his sister, he don't know what he should do. So basically he he realized that, you know, he's been a real dick. He, he's been a real dick and like, you know, he did cause he did cause the this situation in the first place. Sorry, uh, uh, 
And Sally Meg with Sir Becky Cardo and the other Gentiles along with Rigo. Rigo was dressed up as girls to lay out the monster. <laughs> was dressed up with girls with ponytails, you know, and full drag, and full drag, dressed up as girls to lay out the monster, you know, and sure that Rigo, that, you know, that Josh is a good, good guy after all, like, you know, he probably, he, he will come around, he will come around, and basically the monster fell for, <laughs> fell for, you know, for the stupid plan that Car that Cardo, uh, you know, fell to Cardo, you know, stupid plan, you know, them dressed up as females and whatnot. So basically, you know, Doc showed up, you know, and gave, you know, gave Rigo back his, you know, back his Wonder Woman book, and he was able to transfer into his comrade form and to working with the working with the Zen Tigers, you know, they uh, they all hit me, they all transform I started to fight the lucky parasite monster. So Daisy Zop gave the Jay Kaido Zuran and Gal the the uh, the Conrader sent uh, the Conrader gears to trans to to harness the power of these three comrades. So basically Zeno had the ability to see in to see in time. So basically Zu uh, Zuran used the power of Gen uh, Zeno to 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 see in time to take down some foot soldiers. <laughs> You know, Gal used the power of the of the zero one uh, of the zero one uh, uh, gear to do the do zero one impact uh, impact finisher and as for uh, as for as for Kyle, as for Kyle, he was uh, he was a, uh, he was able to do the do the free sword attack of uh, of Saber uh, of Comrade Saber. So basically, after the after some few shenanigans, you know, you know, Zach is his own Zen Kaijin gear. You see, Zen Kaijin you see Zen. Kai, uh, Kaiju gear, so basically to transfer it to Super Kaiju. So basically, in this form, he has a he has a new he has a new vest that looks it shaped like B Rex head from Time Eater, or better known as Q Rex for for Power Rangers Time Boy. So basically, so basically, uh, so basically, you know. And so basically, Zach transformed, uh, you know, morphed up into two cars, and then he used the uh, used his own Zen Kaizen using Zen Kaizen gear to transform into Super Two Kaiser, and working together with the other they was able to turn the Lucky Charmos. They was able to they was able to kick the shit out of the Lucky Charmos, and out of nowhere, Maggie and and Rika showed up, and they and, and they work together to uh, break free from wherever they would be held with and also and also feed the hostages. So basically working together as a team, they would a you know you know, we we go and uh, and and super and super, and super two cargo was able to destroy the monster but as usual as usual, you know, as usual, a giant foot tails of monster showed up, you know, absorbed the power of the gear of the, uh, of the, of the monster, and basically came a giant lucky talisman monster. So basically, so basically, with both Megazords working together, you know, with both Megazords working together, I mean, basically, you know, you know, two kinds of Megazord and, and the Boom and Magine Megazord working together, they were able to defeat the monster. So anyway, so anyway, you know, Two Kaiser was like to know her. Uh, two Kaiser was like to know buried the hatchet that we go and and we go like you know I'm sorry about this whole thing. I I want to take you guys back to your world. So basically, like you know, two Kaiser, two Kaiser, you know, like you know, realized that you know her understood realized that you know he he's the one he's the one who uh, put put we go and we go for all this thing. So basically, he offered to take. You uh, take Rigo and Rika back back to uh, back to their world. So basically before uh, before you know before they left, you know, Rika said hug Magine uh, gave Nike a hug goodbye and you know and uh, and boarded the uh, and boarded, you know, two cards of spaceship. So basically, you know, Rigo to drop Zach and 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 Rika aboard two kinds of shit and head back to the you know and you know we and Zach took them back to the dimension where 
where where where the rest of the comrades from Tabor are are from. So anyway, well, as the ship was leaving, you know, you know, it's kind of wish that you know, hoping that he gets to meet, it, made a wish that hoping that he gets to meet the rest of the rest of the uh, what to meet the rest of the comrades Saber team. So basically, he made a wish to hoping hoping that he gets to see the rest of the of the comrades from uh, from. Save the world. So basically, in this high, and the episode ended with with with, with two kinds of shit. You know, back, you know, back and back at back in Saber's world, and he was talking about Rico and and Rico and all of a sudden this weird space. This weird space that it had this weird monster that had this weird monster inside it. You know, this weird space. Station. They so basically when two cars of ship, you know, came back to save his world, he passed this weird space station. This weird space station. So that was there, and that was that was so that was you know that was over in Earth. Oh, in the earth that where Conrad Saber and and his comrades lived, and this red monster that uh, that that was uh, that was in stone would start to break free from his stone prison, and this had the episode in it with with this weird stone monster somewhere in this weird space, yeah, or you know, in the space station that was over in the world where where Conrad Saber is, you know, and it starts to break free from his stone prison, and this had the episode in it. So anyway, so I, I thought this episode was kind of stupid, you know, this episode didn't really make sense, I felt like, you know, they could at least, you know, I felt like, you know, if they were going to do a comrade, a, a crossover with comrade and saver, they should at least pop, uh, got the main, you know, the, the, they should have got saver to cross over, to actually cross over with Jim Tiger instead of Rigo and Enrico. But, you know, I do like Rico, Rico, but, you know, I feel like crossover is like, uh, it's still, I feel like, you know, if they were going to do a crossover, a little crossover, and you could do at least you got the main star of Saber, of uh, 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 the current Shintai series, of uh, the current, of uh, the current Conrad series to, you know, to cross over with, with the current Shintai series. But it is what it is. So basically, this episode, it's kind of, it's kind of alright. So anyway, that's all I'd say. So anyway, this is Michael from Screaming Sound Off 1.